BlackBerry and Google are partnering to bring the leader in mobile security and the world's most popular mobile platform together to empower your business. We'd like to take some of your time today to talk about Android for Work and how it can get your users and your business more productive. I'm David Arnold, Senior Enterprise Solutions Manager at BlackBerry. And I'm Nicholas Beretta, Devices Sales Engineer at Google. Thanks for having me today, David. Thanks for coming, Nick. So, why are Google choosing to bring Android to work? That's a really great question. When you look at Android generally, it's the world's most popular consumer operating system on mobile. Something like three quarters of the world's mobile users use Android today. Combine this with the emergence of trends like BYOD or bring your own device to work, as well as the consumerization of IT in general, we find that more and more users want to work the way they live, and we want to jump on that trend and allow users who love Android to bring those Android devices to work and use them in a productive way, while also satisfying IT security and manageability requirements. Surely Google can't be doing this alone. No, absolutely not, David. One of the great things about the Android ecosystem and the Android Fork program in particular is that the breadth of our enterprise ecosystem is really a strength of ours. We've got partners in four key areas. We've got our OEMs, our device manufacturers who make the Android devices. We've got our EMMs. These are the companies that provide the management software to manage these devices at work. You've got your application developers who are more and more are focusing on making applications that the enterprise can use. And then finally, you've got your service providers, connectivity providers, companies that provide things like VPN and secure tunnel into the work profile as well. If you were to give me your elevator pitch, how would you get me to install Android for Work across my business? In one sentence, Android for Work enables an enterprise admin to allow Android devices to be managed in a secure and standard way in the enterprise, while also bringing Android users the first class native experience they're used to, as well as great productivity tools that they can use seamlessly. So any device running Android, any app from Google Play, and standardized management across those. That's right. One of the strengths of Android, the Android for Work program in particular, is Google Play for Work, which allows an admin to curate applications from Google Play and make those available to users in a managed environment. They can also make internal applications available through this channel as well. And then as far as devices are concerned, I'm happy to say that all Android devices that ship from the factory with Marshmallow are going to support Android for Work out of the box. That's great news. It sounds like it's a fantastic solution for our customers. But how have Google secured that platform and the corporate data? To put it very simply, what we do on the platform is we create two profiles. We create a work user profile and a personal user profile. They're two separate user accounts that live side by side on the device. Only the work user is under management. So the work user will have all of the work apps, all of the work data, as well as the EMM agent enforcing policies just within that user profile. This provides security on a two-way basis. For IT, obviously they're not concerned that data is leaking out. They know that corporate data is secured on the device and can't be accessed or compromised outside of that. At the same time, the personal user security is also important. We want to make sure the user's personal data, their photos, their contacts, can't be accessed or viewed by IT, even accidentally. And so we've hit both of those check marks with this platform. That sounds really great, because a lot of our customers are not only concerned with their corporate data and the security of that, but they want to ensure that their users' privacy is protected, particularly in a BYOD environment. And this brings me to a question for you, David. I would love to hear more about how BlackBerry is leveraging the Android for Work program. Absolutely. So earlier you mentioned four key areas of a partner ecosystem. The first, the device manufacturers. And BlackBerry has come to Android for Work and come to Android with the BlackBerry Priv, running Android Marshmallow and supporting the platform. Secondly, we have BES12, our EMM solution. And that allows us to manage devices running Android for Work and configure applications on those devices. Thirdly, we have our applications. The good suite of applications, good work, good access and good connect. Watchdocs, ad hoc, and of course BBM that could all be whitelisted to install in the Android for Work profile. And finally, we have BlackBerry's USP, the trusted secure connectivity behind the firewall to where those business processes and business data reside. Truly, it sounds like BlackBerry is wearing all of the hats in our partner ecosystem. Can we take a look at this on one of your devices? Absolutely. Let's take a look at the Priv running Android for Work. Great. So here's the device. You can see it's running Android M. So this device has Android Marshmallow on it already. Absolutely, and we're committed to the monthly security updates that Google are pushing out and ensuring that our users receive those on their devices. That's wonderful, and I do see that you've got Android for Work already set up and you've got your badged icons on the screen. Absolutely, you'll see there's a mixture of applications that are personal without the briefcase and work apps that are marked with the orange briefcase icon. Great, and what about this badge Google Play Store? So can you tell us a little bit more about Google Play for Work? Yeah, so Google Play for Work is the corporate app store. A lot of our customers really want this to drive adoption and their users and push out applications so let's take a look. The administrator in BES12 has the ability to create categories to group applications and make it easier for users to find them. We can drill into any one of these categories and view the applications, drill in a level deeper, and choose whether or not we want to install that application. 
And in addition to being able to browse the catalog, when you set up this profile, I'm sure you noticed some of your applications came down silently as well. Absolutely. So an administrator can mark applications as either required or optional on BES 12. And those marked as required will actually automatically download silently when the device is provisioned. So if I'm a customer, this sounds great to me. How do I get started with BES using Android Fork today? So to get started, very simple. Go to blackberry.com, look at BES 12. You can get a free instance of BES 12 to download and install. And then from there, the setup for Android for work is governed through the documentation. And if you take a look at the URLs on the screen right now, you can get a direct link to some of those resources that David just mentioned. Thanks a lot for having me here today, David. Thank you for coming.